Let's find a heater for the fish room. That one. Hello everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King. I hope everyone is doing awesome. We are in the fish room. Nothing like chilling in a fish room. So, I've been having some issues lately. The issues have been with the heaters in my tanks. Now, what has been happening, from what I can tell, is they are getting stuck in the off position. So the heaters are plugged in, they're turned up all the way, but I come in here sometimes and the water's at 72 degrees, I think 68 one time in one of these tanks, and it's on full blast. What the heck's happening? What's going on? So I pull them out, I tap them on the, on the edge of the tank, and sure enough, they turn on, but then they turn right off. So something is wrong internally with the heaters that I currently have. So I need to, I need to get new heaters, which I did. We'll, we'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, but I was talking to James Largo, and he suggested you know, to heat the room. Uh, obviously, we know that that is great advice, um, depending on how big your room is. Um, so I went and picked up an infrared quartz heater by Polonis. I got this at Lowe's. This is what James uses and uh, highly recommended it. Uh, so my goal is, is I'm still gonna introduce the new heaters into these tanks, but I wanna keep the air temperature in the room around like 78, 80 if I can. Um, and I know once the, the tank water is to, to temperature, that'll help it along with this. And this has a thermostat, which is awesome. So the goal here is to warm up the room enough to where if a heater does fail, it's gonna keep the water in a temperature range where it's not gonna harm the fish and, you know, until I would notice it. So we're gonna start off here with a infrared quartz Colonus portable heater. So let's go ahead and get this sucker unboxed. If you don't have a knife, use your keys, trust the keys. They have more than one use. So yeah, like I said, I, I got this over at Lowe's. Paid $49 for it. Pretty inexpensive investment. Um, you know, my fish room is, I'm thinking it's about, well, I think it's longer than 15. It's probably between like 15 and 20 long, uh, this way, and probably about 10 or so, 10, 10 12 this way, give or take. Uh, so it's not huge, but um, this unit is definitely going to do what I need it to do to help out. So, I mean, it's super easy. It comes, you know, pre-packed, ready to roll. Let me go ahead and pull this out of here. Set that down, and then we're going to... Go ahead and, oh, comes this way. That's it, it's so easy. <laughs> um, so this has an internal thermostat. So what I gotta do is I'll have to mess with these settings here. Uh, this is uh, one and two over here, and then this is your how high you want it. So I'm gonna have to mess around with this until I find what temperature it's putting out and keeping the room at. And then it should click off when it's at temperature and then it should click on when it drops down. So I'm hoping it's gonna do a good job. It's uh, efficient. Um, it's supposed to be efficient, so I'm hoping that this is gonna help. If it keeps my bill the same or a little less, or even if it's a little more, I'm happy because the fish are gonna be in a position where they're gonna be okay. So let's go ahead and plug this in get it turned off and see what happens. So one, one of the things that's really cool about this is it's, it's very light. I mean, you can lift this up with your pinky. It's a light, light unit. So we obviously got the dials here. This is for your thermostat and then this is for one or two, so how high you want your power to be. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in here. What's awesome is right above the camera, I have a ceiling fan. So Every once in a while, I will have the ceiling fan probably on low just to help distribute that air so it's evenly pushed around. Nothing crazy, just enough to work slowly pushing that air around. All right, go ahead and flip it on one. Turn it to three quarters. Let's just do it on two, why not, right? 
why not? So now it's just a matter of it getting to heat, and we'll see that here in just a second. So I'm sure you can see there that uh, it is absolutely going on here. It's heating up. And uh, you know, like I said, James Largo said that this comes, you know, he, he really recommended it. So we're gonna give it a shot here in the fish room and see what happens. So I'll tell you, uh, this thing is pretty freaking hot. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm back couple feet and I could really feel the heat on this thing so that is awesome that is really great and again you can just see it is it's very compact it's very light it's very nice so we'll see how it does with the fish room so there you go working and over here right above my logo my family got this for me for my birthday I thought it was kind of cool um, but right up over here is where I got my thermometer for temperature in here. So I'm hoping to keep it, you know, right around 78, 80 degrees. So it's not there yet, but it will be. Yeah, this was really cool. My fa my family to do this for me here. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. All right, everybody. That's it. So we're going to see how this does. I'll obviously update you guys all down the road on how it's doing, uh, how I get it set with the thermostat so it stays at that 80 degree mark, 70, 80 degrees. Um, very cheap investment for the possibility of, you know, again, having that, it's like a redundancy to where this is running and keeping the room at a good temperature. So the tank water is probably going to be a degree or two lower than the, than the actual air temp. So if it's 78, 80 degrees in here, the tank water should be around 78, 76, maybe 75. So if I ever have heater failure, this is gonna help keep the air temperature warm, which will help keep the tanks at a level where the fish are not gonna die. If it gets too low, obviously it's gonna die. And, and I live in the Northwest, and um, not as cold as a lot of places, but it gets fairly cold here. It gets into yeah, freezing, it gets under freezing, and you know, it's easy if a heater goes out that your water temperature is just gonna drop. It's gonna plummet and your fish are gonna die. So it's a redundancy, it's gonna work. I'm excited to see um, how fast and how soon I'll get back on my investment. So that's gonna do it for the video, everybody. As always, thank you for watching. If you guys can like this video, that would be amazing. If you could also comment down below, do you guys use anything like this? Do you think this is something you guys would use if you have a fish room? And uh, that's about it, everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe here and click on the bell notification. Also, check out some of my other videos over here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I truly appreciate it. Thanks again and stay tanked.